Hello, welcome to Antlers TV. My name is Jack Duxbury and today we are going to look at the first 10 patches that come out of the Access Virus TI2. So let's get straight into it. Patch 1 on the virus. Firstly, I'd like to say that I'm here and with me is the Maltese Falcon. Whoop. Flying with me today and we're going to hit you off and myself off with Hyperknock. BC, patch one on there. Can I get a ple key, please, Christopher? G. Thank you, mate. Crank it up. Simplex HS. Patch three, Veldisa BC. B. Veldisa, the capital of Malta. I will interrupt and say that it's exuding a level of poshness that is very rare amongst synthesizers, and I'll talk about it in the end. Next patch, tribe, no, trib at iGruv. Awful names, presets. Incredible sound, crappy preset names. Here we go. E. Thank you, mate. So powerful, the filter did nothing. Here we go. Next one. Touch acid, BC. Hey. Let's try an arpeggiator on this one. Uh... Thank you. 
Flatland, BC. D. Mm -hmm. Pointing out there, it's got an absolute hoof load of oscillators in here. Back in the day when I was in the shop, it's been out for years, the access virus. I'll talk about that at the end. Shut up, Jack. Trunt base BC. Turn it off. We're going to do two more, I think. Snowfall BC. Let's go for Lo-Fi Brick NM. I'll spell that out just so you know that I'm not completely illiterate. No problem if you are. I'm sure anyone stupid enough to watch my videos is probably illiterate. Here we are. L-O-F-I-B-R-K-N-M. Lo-Fi Brick NM. One last key. <laughs> e flat. E flat. Whoa. few patches on there. I'm going to give you a little bit of blurring on just after this quick high five. <laughs> okay, we've just heard the first 10 or so patches. Sorry if there weren't 10 or more or less. Reason why we're doing this video is to let you know that we've got these back in stock. Access keyboards. We've got the Polar in and we've got a few versions of the virus here. And if you're not familiar with the virus, 
and the, the company axis. You might be, if you watch the guitar videos as well, a chap called Christoph Kemper, who made the Kemper profile, and it's doing really well in the guitar world. And I feel a little bit like people have forgotten how incredible this keyboard was. And this was years ago, before that. We got it out of the box. Chris is a young man, much younger than I am. He's got, I've got a decade on him at least. And we both agree that this looks, from a design aspect, you'd think it was bang up to date. Super concise panel. And I want to touch on one really important feature. And if you live anywhere near a shop where you can try this keyboard, I implore you to go do it. If you live near Guildford or anywhere, you will not find a better keyboard action on a synthesizer. Modern keyboard. The best, this is the best action I've felt, personally, anyway, since a, a DX7. I always love a DX7. It just had that poshness. A bit like the Korg M3 had a really posh synth action. Believe it or not, I do play a lot of keyboards and I remember if I love the feel of them. This was magic. Little anecdote, I can remember the chap from Strictly Come Dancing, or whatever it's called now, Strictly. And uh, he was the musical director and he came in, he bought one just as a MIDI controller. And I was like, wow, what a fly git. <laughs> but he was an incredible piano player and he just couldn't, we spoke about it at great length in the shop. He said, like, I can't get this feeling from another keyboard. Uh, just feels great to play. Also, it's got just loads of everything. Huge, you've probably heard a lot of those patches, a vastness to it, and that's because it's got upwards of 80, I think it's over 100 oscillators when it's kicking off. And uh, huge oscillators, huge polyphony as well. So it was massive around that big era of trance about 10 years ago. But as you could hear in those presets, it cops all the other types of synthesis very well. Incredible effects section, six individual outputs, audio over USB, still so many um, companies just not up to what Christoph Kemper was doing back then. You can see how well he's done in the guitar market. Anyway, I am waffling on. And I should have teased this at the beginning, but I do see, I mean, if it wasn't enough reasons to come try it out and you wanted to buy it, what keyboard company is, they're so badass that they put in a demo song. I, I don't know if you've seen him around, I love, I always dream of walking out of my videos with a demo song and I employ it. If you make a keyboard, put a demo in it because they're just fun. They just remind me of being a child and walking around and annoying the people in the music shops. And we need more of that. We need more young people annoying old people with demo songs. And I'm gonna do that right now. It says press and hold. And it says press store to start demo. If you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing. If you don't, let us know. We're trying to listen. Oh, we are listening. It just takes us a while to put these things into practice and we promise we're trying. Anyway, press store to start demo. Come on, Christoph Kemper, I believe in you. Christoph Kemper, you are a freaking genius, yeah.